Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we have something very, very exciting from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, the Raspberry Pi Imager. Let's get started. If you're wondering what an imager is or why I'm so excited about this news, well, an imager is essentially a piece of software that lets you put the operating system on the micro SD card for your Raspberry Pi. And I'll get to why I'm excited about this in just a second. Previously, I used to use a program called Etcher. It's by Belina, Belina Etcher. It's a free open source program that is used to write images to an SD card. Etcher is a good piece of software and I still recommend using it. There really isn't anything wrong with it. So the previous way to install Raspbian or RetroPie or anything like that was to download Etcher. Then you would have to download the image you're looking for. Then you would have to write the image to the micro SD card and then you were good to go. The new way to do things with the Raspberry Pi Imager saves you one step. So here you download the Raspberry Pi Imager, then you select what you want to put on the SD card. It will automatically download and write it to your SD card and you're done. You no longer have to download the image separately. So to pick up the Imager, just head to raspberrypi.org slash downloads. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you're running Windows, Mac, or Ubuntu, then you do have an option here. The installer isn't very big at all. It's roughly 19 megabytes. So I have the Raspberry Pi Imager downloaded and installed. Now this is a pretty simple menu, and this is what I really like about it. This is probably my favorite part about it. If you go to the operating system menu, click choose OS, it gives you a ton of different options. And these are built right into the installer. So you can download Raspbian, you can go to Raspbian Other, do Raspbian Lite or Raspbian Full. Now you don't have to figure out whether or not you have the latest version of Raspbian downloaded. And that's what I love. I couldn't tell you how many times I've accidentally installed an older outdated version of Raspbian just because I'd previously downloaded it and I didn't check to see if there are new versions available. So taking a look here, it's not just Raspbian. There's also Libre Elec available and it's also available for different versions of the Pi. So it's really easy to check just to make sure you're downloading the right one. For example, the Pi 4, there's one for the Pi 2 and 3 and one for the Pi 0 or Pi 1. There's also miscellaneous utility images so you can get the EE Prom boot recovery if you need it. You can also format the SD card card or you can use a custom image. If you're using the custom selection from this menu, this program will function exactly the same as Etcher, where you will select the image that you've downloaded, select your micro SD card, and then it will write. So to test things out here, I'm gonna choose my OS, I'll select Raspbian Other, Raspbian Full, choose my SD card, which should just bring up automatically here. Yes, I have a 16 gigabyte, it's reading as 15, but it's a 16 gigabyte micro SD card and then I'm gonna click write. So right now what it's doing is it's going to download Raspbian from the website and then write it to my card. As much as I love the Raspberry Pi Imager, there is one major drawback and that is in terms of write speeds. So if you are looking at writing an image on a micro SD card using the Raspberry Pi Imager, it's going to take some time. Etcher is a little faster in this area, actually considerably faster, because Etcher is working with a fully downloaded image file. This has to download the image file and write it. Overall, the imager has a big thumbs up from me as it simplifies the process, makes writing an image to a micro SD card considerably easier. But at the same time, it is also a considerably slower process, so you also have that to worry about. At the end of the day, I am certain that the Raspberry Pi Foundation will probably improve this in some way, shape, or form, but right now, it's very usable. It's just a little slow. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, let me know what you think about this Raspberry Pi imager in the comments below. Thank you everyone, take care.